All right, all right. Well, this thing is cheap. It's kind of fun. And it does work out your reflexes, but it does take a little bit of time getting used to it. Especially this thing in front of your face, in, in front of your eyes, it feels like it's gonna go in your eye any minute. Um, I've sort of tied it to the side a little bit, and it does help having it to the side, but still, that, that string there is kind of annoying. But the, for the price, you know, it's cheap, so it's worth it. But, it's got me thinking, what if I put a bigger ball here? One a bit more like this one. Right, and I've basically been getting ready to make a double ender bag, as you can see here. I'm using two long and wide zip ties to basically lock the bag in place. I've tightened it, and these zip ties are not going anywhere. And I've, and I've got a zip tie on either end, that's going to end up being a double ender bag. And that's next week. But, just while reviewing this thing, I thought, you know what, what if I have a bigger ball? Obviously, I'm going to need bigger bungees, but I happen to have some. I bought this ages ago, these ones, they're cheap, you can get them online. They're for doing all sorts of exercises. So, let's try this. Just to for fun. Alright. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. I'll put a glove on. By the way, I tried it with just knuckles on that little ball. There's no way. It's, it's just too hard unless you're some sort of martial arts super guru. Um, but let's try a bigger ball. Let's see what happens. Just curiosity wise. Alright, not that great. Um, yeah, this thing just gets in the way. It is annoying. Anyway, there you go. Stick around. Soon I'll have the double end bag build for you. Um, there's a couple of versions I'm working on. Possibly two ends like this with the bag in the middle, coming up soon. I'll see you guys.